Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to match all letters and numbers. Using character classes, you were able to search for all letters and alphabet with A through Z. The kind of character class is common enough that there is a shortcut for it, although it includes a few extra characters as well. The closest character class in JavaScript to match the alphabet is forward slash W. This shortcut is equal to A through Z, Z through A through Z capitalized, A through Z lowercase, zero through nine, and an underscore. That's the equivalent of forward slash w. The, this character class matches upper and lower class letters plus numbers. Note this character class also includes the underscore character. Here we're going to say let the longhand equal a through z, and that's the uh, all those numbers. And then the plus sign means that any of them that you find in, a, in consecutive order. And then the shorthand is just this forward slash w plus. And then we're just going to say, okay, so here they're just setting a variable equal to numbers and a variable equal to names where it's important there. And then we just say longhand, um, which is this guy, uh, the regex of longhand dot test against the numbers returns true. So it says you've got 42 in there. Shorthand test returns true. Longhand test returns true, returns true. Okay, so basically they're just saying that these do the exact same thing here. The shortcut character classes are also known as shorthand character classes. Use the shorthand character class forward slash w to count the number of alphanumeric characters in various quotes and strings. So here we just want to go uh, forward slash w plus. And if we console.log the result, we should see that there's one there. Interesting. Your regex should, should use a global flag. Okay, yeah, I see what's going on. <clears throat> Your regex should find 31 alphanumeric characters. So if we console log the result here, what this is telling us here, that because we're console logging this number, we're going to find 31, but we're not finding that. So what's the problem? Well, it looks like it's just grabbing the first element, right? And so what happens if now what we've got to do is flag this globally? That gives us six. Interesting. The five boxing wizards jump quickly. The five boxing wizards jump quickly. This should find 31 alphanumeric. Okay, so since we're just getting six, I'm gonna take out length and see what's counting. So we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I see. We don't want the W plus, we just want W. Okay, and then if we add length in here, we get 31. So this is gonna pass the tests. So what did I do? to figure this out. Um, well, in the test, in the example up here, they say do W plus, and that gives you uh, whole increments, right? If we go W plus, and then we'll see, and we, instead of doing the, the count of how many object, how, the count tells us how many numbers of strings are in this array. Um, if I remove that, I can see the strings. And now we see we've got six, so it's breaking it up by word. Now this W plus thing, it goes A through Z, A through Z, lowercase, zero through nine, and an underscore, but it doesn't, uh, calculate, it doesn't include a space. So what's happening here is that um, the regex is picking up, first off, it's saying, is this character a A through Z, uh, A through Z, zero through nine, and underscore? Yes, it is. And then it's saying, continue to select each of these elements that are, this plus sign is saying, continue to select each of these elements that follows that pattern. So it's going to go to the H and it's going to say yes. Is it's going to go to the E and it's going to say yes. And then the space, it's going to be like no. So it's going because the space is not included within these parameters, which we're using this as shorthand for. And therefore, we add that first element of all the characters that match the regex, that match the regex into an array. And so we're dividing it up one, two, three, four, five, six. We get six elements added into the array. So what the problem is that we don't want to have the, we're just trying to count every, each alphanumeric character, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, up to 31. And so what we wanna do is just get rid of the plus sign. And that makes it so we count each character. Notice that we're not getting the space and we're counting each character, five. No space and then box scene, no space. And then also there's no period at the end. And so that gives us a, a specific number of alphanumeric characters, including underscores. And um, that's what we're looking for. And so what we, once we get this array, we want to get the length of it. And that gives us 31. And I think that passes the test. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And we'll see you in the next lesson.